Hey guys, it's Super D, and I'm back for another episode of the Let's Play. And, um, I started doing another episode, but then my recorder crashed, and I lost the footage. So, basically, I have some stuff to catch you up on. Um, on the episode that I was doing, I started to build this mob spawner. And I was originally going to build it up in the sky, but I decided that I wanted to make it so that it wouldn't really get rid of the, uh, like the beetles. It wouldn't be an ugly thing standing in the sky. So I decided to make it on the ground and have you go down to get the drops, which is, I guess, a little bit of a hassle. But I thought it'd make the world look a little nicer. So I flattened down an area and I made a bunch of trap doors, as you can see, and they're all open. And I'll explain it all in a bit if you don't know what a mob spawner, how a mob spawner like this works. But this still isn't complete. We still have to make the tunnel and we have to make somewhere to collect the drops at. So that's what we're going to be doing on this episode. But meanwhile, I do have a little bit of other stuff to catch up on. I mean, that's the main thing that happened. In the other episode that I was making. Uh, if you're wondering why there's that bread, it was because I accidentally made it. And that wool is because there was a sheep trying to get in and I killed him. Because he was killing my crops. Actually, he didn't kill any crops yet, but he would have. I made this so that maybe they can't get in, but I really should probably just put fences there. Whatever. Um, So now I'm just going to harvest this farm because, you know. Might as well, they're all pretty much grown. And then we'll go finish off that mob spawner. So let's grab all of these plants. It's weird how the, the wheat makes like, the it makes sort of crop noises and then the carrots make like stone noises like. They make stone noises. When you break them. And the potatoes do that too. Do the beetroots do it? Yep. I don't know why, but the, the wheat does it, but everything else doesn't. Don't you dare come in. Oh, okay. We're good. Start planting beetroots. The beetroots are being very successful. I am proud of it. Proud? I'm proud of it. I'm proud. And... That's good. Let's get the potatoes right next. Potatoes. Let's get some potatoes up in here. Then carrots. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these episodes. But. Yeah, I'm doing it now. Carrots. We're getting quite a bit of food from this. Oh, it's potatoes. Also, before the failed episode, I did go fishing a little bit. And we actually got, oh, besides getting leather pants out of all things, we actually got a saddle, which is pretty cool. And... So, I mean, they're useless right now, but eventually, I do believe that we'll be able to ride pigs soon. I'm hoping for it. I mean, it already makes sense. We have fishing rods and we have carrots, so we can make a carrot on a stick. The only thing we need is to be able to put the saddle on the pig. Um, also, another thing that happened off camera, off, yeah. Soon after the previous episode, I loaded up the world again. And a chicken suffocated, like, in the stairs over here. So I had to block him off. And now I just have the little poor chicken's corpse in here. Oh, yeah, you can see some of the fish I got, too. But look, the little chicken. It was so sad. So, yeah, I blocked that off for now. I mean, we don't really need it. But for now, at least, I blocked it off. And so, the chickens are safe. I do want to make them a nice chicken paradise, though. So, anyways, let's get back to this. 
Um, this is mob spawner. It's gonna work. This whole thing is gonna. This whole thing is gonna have a roof to it, and it's only gonna be two blocks tall. That would be so Endermen don't spawn in, because I don't want them to spawn and ruin everything by moving blocks around. And besides, there's no use in. There's no. Uh, we can't. Blah. If I let it spawn Endermen, we don't get any drops from it, and the water would just kill anyway. So two blocks high. It'll have a roof, and then these things. There's gonna be water in here, like this. Except that the trap door is open. Trap doors, they trick the mobs into falling in. So they'll fall into the water. Let me actually go get another water source. Yeah, I don't have any other water. So let's go grab another one. After we get this one, we can pretty much infinitely create water. So anyways, the mobs will fall into the water and the streams will push them towards the center of this weird cross thing. Whoops. Let's put it there. Whoa. Trap doors are very update. They like to update themselves. I don't know why. But we shall put some water here. They like to I don't know why the water likes to do that, but it does. So anyways we're going to continue to place all of this water. It's a little slow. But yeah, whoa! What happened there? This is so weird. Okay. Swim all the way over here. And grab ourselves some more water. Yeah, trapdoors are really weird. So, even if you guys didn't really get to see me building this whole thing, you guys will at least see me finish it off. Which I guess is the more important part. It's getting nighttime too. So I should probably head back to the house. And after we sleep, we'll finish up with the water and then we'll start digging. The reason we need to start digging is because we want the mobs to fall to their deaths. So the water streams push them to the center and, the, and at the center of this mob spawner, there is going to be a long tunnel about, I think it's supposed to be 23 blocks fall. How did a zombie get in there? And a spider. Well, the zombie will eventually burn like that. Let's kill the spider though. Okay. So anyways, uh, we need the mobs to fall. And let's get rid of this crafting table. And then that happened again. Let's do this. Pretty sure they're all set up correctly, except for this one, because this one has an infinite stream. Whoa! Where did that come from? What was that? I'm like legit scared right now. There was no creeper near me. Who did that blow up? I'm a little spooked by that. Okay, let's just get back over here. Block these off. All the things are going to start.
There we go. So now, as you can see, the water will all push, will push them all into this. And here's where we're going to make it so that they fall. So, first order of the business is to see, this is already one block deep. We need to go 22 more blocks down. And, yeah. So, that's two blocks. Three blocks Okay, I believe we are down 23 blocks, but just to be sure, we, I'm going to count as we go up, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so next time we go down... You go tw two more blocks. I didn't. I was pretty sure we were down. Ah, are you serious? That's gonna be annoying. Um, what time of day is it? Pretty late. Um, I'm still gonna count how many blocks this is though. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The entrance to the underground I want to have right here. Something like this. I should actually have it. <laughs> More back because I don't know we'll see but basically I want to have it here to go underground yeah that's that's bad But yeah, I want to have it in this general area. Which means, how many blocks is that going to be? Like, to go forward. So that's from there to 9, 10. Okay. I'm just kind of brainstorming on the spot. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is continue to go down there. Um, this time, let's open all this. Be on this block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, so this is where, basically, where they're going to die. And I'm actually going to mine this out. So, I can get out here. And this is going to be like the area where they, where, like, it's going to be a room to come down here and pick up drops. Do I have torches? Yes, indeed I do. I need them. 
So, down here is the collection. Is what I'm going to call it. So this is where we're going to collect the drops for the mob spawner. And there's mobs already nearby. That's not really too much of a good thing. Yeah. So anyways, I'm, I'm going to put slabs on this block. And now what that will do is it will make it so that some so that spiders can't get in. And like out, can't escape the... Because sometimes the spiders don't fall to the death, they just cling onto the wall. So these slabs here make it so that we can pick up the drops, but the spiders can't get out if they happen to spawn. So that's good. And I've completely forgotten the direction that we are supposed to build in. That's not a good idea. So, um, I guess the best thing we can do now is get out of here. Yeah. I'm building with dirt this time, so it's easier to dig down. Sorry if my commentary is a little slow today. Okay, so we are out. Uh, let's hold something that's not going to update all these trapdoors. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Eggs as soon as I spawn. Okay. We're, this, is, this is fine. Um, all I have to do is just go down that thing and grab my stuff. Um, I had... I'm, I had already knew, known that this kind of thing may happen, so I planned ahead and I just dumped all my valuables in here before going down there. So really all I need to do right now is make a shovel because that dirt might be a little slow to go down. Just stay away from the creepers. Don't want those guys. What's with the Enderman? Would handle these guys any other day, but not today. Let's get down there and find our stuff. Oh yeah, this is the direction we want to build in. So keep that in mind. Dig in. Yeah, my brain's off. <laughs> All our stuff is back. Let's put our armor on. Okay. So this is... this. Wow. I happen to choose the right direction. This is the direction where we come from. All right. So if I actually put some of this die right back, this is the spawn room. You can go out one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is where the wall is. Ten. So this is going to be like the drop off. There's a lot of ore here. light that place up over here. So this is like going up this way is the way we're going to come down from from the surface and come over here and get mob drops. 
probably put chests over here so we can collect them and stuff. This is going to be a nice place to collect drops if we ever need to. And yeah, so I'm going to very carefully mine up. And then we'll be done with this episode, I think. Just mine up is all I want to do. So, yeah, let's get, let's get my hop out ready. Let's get food, get torches, pickaxe, shovel, sword, good sword. No, we need blocks. Blocks. Oops. Um, goodbye, torch, for now. I feel like I'm going to run straight into a cave. Ooh, iron up here. And then there's iron over there, but this one's hidden, so I might as well grab this. Okay. And now, light. So, this is, if you haven't seen my video on digging down and up safely, I'm following the strategies in that video from here. I think I saw iron. There it is. More iron. And stuff. I don't think it's a little because it's a little more like. I can't imagine how much time we've lost to cause it. Oh, hi. Okay, so. Oh gosh, that's not good. He's gonna come kill us the moment we go up, huh? Oh, this is so scary. There we go. Got him. So this is where we're going to go down. I keep my eye out for more creepers and stuff. This is the area. I don't know what I'm building here. I'm just giving it some shape. Pretty much gonna go down here, and that's where the thing will be. Um, should I finish it off here? I think we should finish it off on the next episode. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Um, I'm not sure how long this is actually. But if it's short, I'm sorry. If it's long, I'm also sorry. But I hope you guys did enjoy. And sorry for not making videos, but I will be get back to that. And yeah. Leave suggestions of what to do in the next episode. Even though I do think in the next episode we're just going to be finish that, finishing that off. But do always leave suggestions. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're about done here. Goodbye, guys.